the distinguished delegate of Canada to make a statement. Thank you, Madam President. Madam President and distinguished delegates. The 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development Goal recognizes the need to build peaceful, just, and inclusive societies that provide equal access to justice and that are based on respect for human rights, on effective rule of law, and good governance at all levels, and on transparent, effective, and accountable institutions. Rule of law is essential to realizing Equ equitable growth, inclusive social development, and environmental sustainability, and ultimately to ensuring that the type of justice envisioned in the 2030 Agenda is truly transformative. Goal 16 of the SDGs is essentially a rule of law goal. Rule of law is required as a framework to achieve and maintain peace and good governance, and is inherent to the achievement of equal access to justice. Rule of law is also critical as an enabler enabler of the other SDGs. Madam President, while several SDGs such as Goal 5 and Goal 10 reference rule of law elements, others do not. This is a shortfall of the SDGs. Even as Goal 16 addresses issues of reducing all forms of violence and related death rates, reducing illicit financial and arms flow, to developing accountable and transparent institutions, to ensuring participatory and representative decision-making at all levels, it remains silent on the importance of gender equality and rights of women and girls. This is a shortcoming. It is silent on power imbalance and militarized masculinity and the roles they play in sustaining conflict. But Canada has the potential to fill this gap. Canada, with its constitutional democracy, its charter of rights, and strong independent institutions of governance, has a legacy and culture of supporting international and domestic rule of law. Let me conclude with the promise that Canadian institutions will continue its working with partners in developing countries and countries in transition to support rule of law initiatives through peace building, governance, and access to justice projects. Thank you.